All right, guys. Let's cast out this swim bait. And we'll see if we can get a muskie on this Memorial Day morning. What's up guys, Jersey Joel Fishing here. Hope everybody has a great day today. The date is May 31st, 2021. It's Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Tomorrow is June 1st and the kickoff to summer. It doesn't feel like summer weather though. The last three days, it's been very cool and a lot of heavy rain. It's 44 degrees. It just stopped raining the last couple days heavily. So everything's, the water levels are all high now and everything. It's going to get warm again later today. But right now it's pretty cool. I'm going to go to a lake I've been to once before. And I'm going to use a big swim bait a subscriber sent me from Canada. His name is Matt. His YouTube channel is Master Crow Outdoors. Check him out. He does a lot of muskie fishing. He does a lot of trolling. He also does kayak fishing. He catches musky, striped bass, trout. Really, really amazing channel. Go check him out. I'm going to show you a little clip now of his channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to his channel because he sent me a really good bait. I've caught several big pickerel the last month and a half. And I caught my biggest northern pike last week, 27 inches. And the only thing that I haven't caught, it's hard to catch, is a muskie. And Matt is uh, familiar with muskie more than anybody. That's all he fishes for mostly is muskie. And he sent me this big swim bait, nine and a half inch swim bait. It's the Savage Gear Trout. One of the top musky lures there is. And we'll see if I can get one here. I'm at a lake that they have musky. Only a few lakes have musky in my area. I'm at one of them. So, but thank you very much, Matt. He's been a loyal subscriber. He's a fellow YouTuber for a long time. And let me show you guys his channel. Make sure you check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time, I hope you like what you see and subscribe. You know, muskies get very big, the largest family out of the pickerel and the pike family, and they're very hard to catch. They call them the fish of 10,000 casts, but they like big baits, and that's why Matt sent me this big swim bait. And we'll see if I can get one here this morning. I'm going to fish for a couple hours, and we'll see what happens. So I'll talk to you guys when I start fishing. Mud. Mud and water everywhere. All that rain. Heavy, heavy rain the last two and a half days. Look how high the water level is. Here's the boat launch. Water's all the way up here. Normally, the water level is all the way over here where the dock starts. Look at how much it went up from all the heavy rain. The weeds are growing in. I'm gonna walk around the lake here. Been here once before. It's quite a nice rainbow trout. I'm gonna throw this giant Savage Gear nine and a half inch swim bait, Savage Gear Trout jointed swim bait that Matt sent me. And uh, it's a big lure. I put it on my catfish rig. That's a heavy setup. It's got brand new 30 pound braid on it. So that should be good for using this big swim bait. Nice and calm, nobody here. Memorial Day morning. Everybody's gonna be barbecuing and picnicking and hanging out with friends and family later for the holiday. You know, I'll be doing the same, having a big barbecue later with some friends. 
So early morning, now's the time. Wanted to fish for a couple hours and try out this swim bait that Matt sent me and see if we can get lucky and get a muskie. A couple lily pads in front of me, but then it drops down and gets deep. This is a glacier lake. It gets very deep. It gets down to about 60 feet. So it drops off. I think this will be a good spot to throw the big swim bait. Really big swim bait. Got really good detail. Savage gear trout, nine and a half inches. All right, guys, let's cast out this swim bait and we'll see if we can get a muskie on this Memorial Day morning. All right, here we go. First cast. action is unbelievable just looks like looks like a real trout swimming around really really awesome action thank you very much again matt really appreciate it just gonna reel it in slow and then do a start and stop retrieve pause it i know musky sometimes they get lazy that's why people that fish for muskie from the boat, they do figure eights to entice them to bite. Walked over to this point. It's a little cove over here. It drops off really deep. There's a lot of weeds along the weed line, but I'm able to cast it out far in open water and reel it in slow. Musky, just like pickerel and pike, they don't have to be very deep. They could be in shallow water in the weeds, hiding where they can ambush prey. This is a big bait, big swim bait, but it reels in so smooth. It's jointed, so it's got a lot of action. They have a lot of muskie in the Delaware River too. Yeah, we go up in Canada, they have sturgeon. They get them hundred. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow. Those are like prehistoric, right? Yeah, my my buddy, he uh the one that sent me this lure, he catches muskie, he trolls for him. And um he has underwater views, it's really, really cool. And then uh he catches striped bass, he goes trout fishing, he catches everything. A lot of awesome fishing up in Canada. Oh yeah. So clean. A lot of wilderness. I've been going to the same lake for 50 years. There's a million lakes in the People say, well, why don't you try? Dude, I don't need to go Yep, you won't get skunked in Canada. No. Yep. Try it again to see if it's not too weedy. Yeah, I mean, I walked down to the point and it was just weedy on the bank, but like I said, this is a glacier lake, so it drops off deep pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. It was nice meeting you. you? Good luck. Having fun using this bait, Matt. I'm having a lot of fun. Maybe I'll get lucky and a big one will see it and slam it. You never know. I've been very fortunate this year. I've had a really good spring. I caught a lot of fish, a lot of species. This is one of the best springs I've had for fishing. 
that I can remember. Probably the best, personal best Northern Pike. I've been throwing this swim bait for over an hour and a half now. I'm gonna keep, keep fishing. Got about a half hour left. I might go to another spot later after the barbecue at sunset. We'll see how it goes. Approximately 10 hours later. Spot number two. It's about 10 hours later. Hour and a half before sunset. Clouds went away, the sun came out. 74 degrees, really nice. And uh, Stacy wanted to do some fishing. She's over there on the dam fishing a wacky rig. She just lost a nice one. I got a catfish rig set up here with a hot dog. I'm gonna try a little black and gold crankbait. There's a lot of structure here. Not that many weeds. No musky in here. Had a lot of fun musky fishing this morning. I did get skunked, but musky is hard to catch. I'm definitely gonna try it again. Gonna go to a couple other spots over the next few weeks that has them and try that big swim bait that I got from Matt. It was a lot of fun. Gave it a couple hours and now we're fishing here at sunset. I just wanna get something. I don't care what it is. Gonna try a little crankbait. Like I said, I got the catfish rig out there. We'll see how it goes. I just want to catch anything. Haven't caught a fish in about a week. Had three days of heavy rain, very cold. And now it's back to normal temperatures. We'll see if we can get some fish. All right, guys, gonna try a little black and gold crankbait. Here we go, first cast. Ten seconds later. Got one. What is this? I got a little largemouth bass on the crankbait. He slammed it. He is so short, but so fat. Look at this, guys. Look at this shape of this fish. Look at this. Have you ever seen a bass this short, but this fat? This guy's hungry. Did he want that crankbait or what? Slammed it. Been here 10 minutes on the crankbait and I got a fish. Little black and gold crankbait, little crappy crankbait. I got a couple weeks ago on sale. Look at this little, little fat guy. Look at how short he is, but look how fat. Pretty cool. I casted the crankbait right under the dock. It's not that deep, and he was sitting there and he slammed it. Little chunky guy, a little butterball. So short, but so fat. He's gonna be a tank when he gets older. If he's eating like this now, look at that belly. I'm gonna show you guys the release. Right under that dock over there. Right in front of those two chairs he hit, right under the dock. All right, buddy. Thanks for hitting a little crankbait. See you later. There he goes. He's going back out that way towards the dock where he came from. See you, buddy. All right, 10 minutes, first fish, little butterball. Let's see if we can get some more. Stacy had a couple bites. She lost a nice fish all the way down there in the corner. She's fishing that end. I'm gonna keep fishing these docks here. Maybe I'll throw on a bigger crankbait or a bigger spinner and see if we can get a bigger fish. But on the board, beats the skunk. First fish in about a week. That was awesome.